what's going on guys today I'm also going to talk about um, budget reels you know you see all these reels all over all these social media and all these uh, wish apps Zoom, and uh, you know all these, these foreign apps where they sell a bunch of things man a bunch of junk or some quality stuff maybe um, so yeah we're gonna talk budget reels, the ones that come from across seas, China, Japan, wherever they come from, uh, American, um, but budget stuff, we're going to talk about these, now, you might be asking why I got these overseas reels that I got from, I think, Wish and uh, Joom, that's another Wish-like app. You know, these are what I started my son off on a couple of years ago, maybe, maybe longer. You know, Sao Gai Lang, I think that's how you say it. That's this one here. I mean, it's, it's not bad looking. I mean, they got the right idea in mind. I mean, maybe one day they could be something greater, you know what I mean? But, you know, they're not too bad. They make a little ruckus when you reel on them. And, this, and this one actually actually cast pretty well but uh reason why i'm touching base on budget reels let's face it guys we live in a time where money's hard to come by most of us you know so uh sometimes we got to start at the bottom to get to somewhere better down the road um but yeah these are sitting in my my real case <clears throat> i have a real case here that I have various different reels that I don't use no more. They're just there for display and stuff like that. The Sao Gai Lang reel. I mean, look at this thing. I forget what this one is called. It doesn't have a name. It says KW150R, 11 plus one ball bearing. Um, does it say, this is a 6-3 to 1, it says, but handle on the thing's massive I would say it's better ratio than that would I guess not but it is audible you know on the star drag it's like a hard plastic it has chrome on it uh, the tension knob is not audible but hey but check it out this is what I start my son on at first you know, it's not a bad little reel. I mean, to, for beginners, you know, these Sao Gai Lang or Gai Lang or however you say this name, um, not bad. I mean, I've casted them myself a few times and I was actually pretty impressed. I mean, it's very smooth, you know, not the smoothest, it hasn't been oiled in some time, but you know, they're just sitting around. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad looking. I mean, as you can tell, it is. You know, are we spending more than we need to spend on reels? Is the question these days. I mean, is this $30 reel just as good as a $60 reel? You know, Luz or your Abu Gar Ar Garcia's. This one is right here. It's, I started them on this one, and you know these type. Are they worth it? Uh, I think they're decent. I mean, can they catch fish? Yeah, because I've seen it. I've seen it happen. I've used it. You know, messing around with my son's stuff. Um, I recommend oiling the crap out of them, though. Uh, don't expect this. your Abu Garcia's or whatever your your personal favorite brand is out of this okay because it's not gonna be that okay but it will winch in fish it will do the job it may not cast as far it may make some extra noise but if you are on a budget and you want a bait caster and you want to fish with bait casters for bass whatever it is you're fishing for or you're just new to bait casting and you know you'd rather mess up something like this rather than something more more expensive or a little more expensive you know start with something like these these are all I think this one is called a, a lizard this one is a 6-3 to 1 
12 plus 1 ball bearing. Now, I noticed that a lot of them are very, very smooth, okay? But more ball bearings doesn't mean always better, okay? So keep that in mind. Doesn't always mean better. It just means they either got a cheaper ball bearing that happens to have cheaper, more cheaper ball bearings inside of the bearing itself. So it doesn't mean it's always better. Um, but this one has the little plastic handles, see? So I got that. Looks cool. But when you catch a fish in your hands with these things will slip. They slip right out of your hand. Um, but it's okay. You know what I mean? It's all right. So if you guys are interested in this one, I think this one is called Lizard Camry. I mean, as you can tell, all the paint's already rubbed off of it. And, you know, it's not the greatest looking thing. But, hey, if you got to do it, you got to do it, man. Especially if you want to get out there and you can't afford it right off the bat. You know, here's a good way to start. Good way to start. We all got to start from the bottom to get to the top. We all start down on the ground to get where we are now. You see all these guys with this fancy stuff. They didn't just, well, most of them didn't didn't just get everything the first time they walked into fishing. You know, we all start from the bottom. But this one, uh, this Sagai Lang right here, it's pretty impressive man I mean I was actually shocked with the quality of it um, pretty light to the hand it got a little more weight than I would say something like this you know but but if you had to begin and you had thirty dollars to your name I don't know I've seen my son winching good fish with it. it it handles well there's no squeaking there's no grinding you know uh, same thing with this one <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know what happened to my camera. Kind of cut out on me, stopped me where I was recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up where I left off. And this one is a Sagai Lang also. My son started off with this. This is top water. I believe this is a seven, seven, seven Oda one. So it's all right, but as you can tell, it makes a little bit of ruckus. Uh, maybe a little bit of oil will help it out, but uh, maybe that's oil coming out of it, so. I don't know, I've seen him use it, <clears throat> seems to fling all right. So uh, the reason why I wanted to touch base on budget reels is because a lot of people that I've met or youngsters that are getting into it, you know, a lot of them don't get the opportunity to claim allowances or have jobs or, you know, just in tough situations, you know, it's, it's hard these times around in, uh, in our world we live in today. So these, these, these cheaper bait cast reels are something to start your kids off with or, you know, get your little new friend or your partner, one of them, you know, barely learning the bait cast. Um, they come in handy. They do. I mean, I use them for the kids and this is what he started on. And he's mastered that and he's gone on to his, his better setups that he has over there alongside mine. You know, but I keep these as a reminder as, you know, we all don't have the opportunities to go up to your your higher end stuff right off the bat, you know. We got to work our way up, build ourselves and save up to get what we want. But will this work? Absolutely. You know, how long it holds up, I don't know. But we've had them a few years and, I mean, we really don't use them anymore, of course. We keep them in the... The real box with the light on and well it's just a they're just there to look nice i guess but um yeah and uh now that we're talking on um budget grills let's go ahead and talk about a, a, some decent budget grills that are really nice name brand like your abu garcia's uh black max now you're probably wondering how come mine doesn't have the red accents like the other black maxes well i had one uh Silver Max, some of the parts fell off, lost the, the lid there to the spool, and psh. so I just saved the spool, saved the handle, and added the silver accent. So now, you know, and I added the clicker to the to the drag wheel, of course. I just like that. So this is my souped up Black Max edition here, but uh. Amazing reel. I mean, for the price that you're paying for it, guys, you gotta understand. I think when we bought this the first time around, me and my wife, because she also uses a 
bait cast reels when we go bass fishing and what whatnot. Um, this was her first reel, and still to this day, she still has me get, keep it cleaned up and oiled up and ready to go. It's one of her favorites, and uh, this thing works well. It's very uh, smooth, light, compactable, definitely compactable. Fits in the hand nice, very smooth. It's only a six to four, I believe. Six four to one, and five bearing system. But I believe the bearings that are in the Silver Max are six or seven, something like that. So the bearings on the Spore are a couple bearings up, ball bearings up. So, uh, so yeah. You can do the the Black Max, of course. Um, I believe you can get them on sale for like 46 bucks now. You know what I mean? They're, they've gone down a lot in price. You could do your uh, your Orange Xfinity Edition. I paid 46 bucks for that, just to get my hands on it, to get the feel of it. I'm not necessarily gonna use it all the time. I just wanted to to see what it was like because I had, had seen it everywhere, but there was, there was not a lot of information on it. So I went ahead and got one turns out it's okay it's okay you're gonna find out when you use it it's it's not your higher end stuff of course it's gonna you're gonna feel the lower end you could hear that um, you could hear like a not like a screeching or a, but like a I don't know you'll have to put your gears some type of sound uh, another one you can get pick up is the carbon fire I had made a video just recently on this and a uh, very impressive reel, man. So I think you guys um, that are looking for budget setups or budget reels or things that hold up well, I don't think they'll hold up a long time. Maybe, you know, a few years, depending on use and how you take care of them. But you know, there is a lot of budget stuff. Now, what you choose to go with, whether it be Sagaya Lang, the Luz Carbon Fire, Abu Garcia's uh, Black Max. Um, that's mainly what we use is uh, Abu Garcia, Luz. And I think that's pretty much all we really use, me and my wife. Oh, and she uses a, a reel called Fish Drops. It's a uh, 17 to 1, 7 to plus 1 ball bearing. And I believe it's a seven one one. The reel's incredible. It's incredibly smooth. It's held up over time. She uses it every time she goes fishing. Um, it's pulled in fish, handles well, it's powerful. Cast amazing. So, you know, there are different options out there. It's just gonna be based on your personal preference and what you're not too proud to, to use. You know, a lot of people saying, I've met a lot of people down throughout the years, no, I won't use that. I just, I stick to this because this and this and this. Everyone has personal preference. But never be too proud to try something new or to start somewhere new, but start off at the bottom, you know? Start off at the bottom, work your way up higher till you find what you like. Of course, you could say, well, you're going to lose. Well, I choose lose because over years of using bait cast reels, I know what I like and what's held up and what's always delivered when I've used it. You know, these ones, uh, these uh, ones that we got off of Wish and stuff, you know, I don't think they're really meant to last forever. But, you know, will they do the job? Yeah. I think if you... Uh, Give it a shot. I think they'll work. You guys can get most of these that I'm showing you on Wish, man. Or uh, there's a, another uh, app like Wish that doesn't charge the shipping fee, and it's called uh, Joom, J O O M, and uh, you can get that from the App Store also. And you guys can pick up stuff like this. So if you're interested, you know you guys got questions or something like that, want more information or more picks of uh, of these reels. You know, uh, let me know. I'll let you guys know. You know, is this something I recommend? Of course. You know, would I use it? 
when I was younger? Absolutely. Would I use it now? No, because I have my setups that I like to use now, and I know what I want, you know? But as a youngster, I would have loved to have had these when we, when we were kids, you know? We used to have stuff like this, you know? This was everything. This was your every kind of bait, real. No matter what it was, we used it. But, um... A lot of things have changed since then. I've got my own house, I've got my own cars, I've got my own bills, I've got my own job, I've got my own everything. So, uh, so I've moved up, you know what I mean? I like my Luz, my Abu Garcias, or my mains at the, at the time, or now. But uh, yeah, so if you guys have any other questions about these reels, I have some other ones I think. Check this one out. I've had this for years. This is a Rhino. Look how massive this thing is. I just keep it as a reminder, man. You know, of all the times we've been through and how much the reels and the looks of reels have changed compared to the sizes. You know what I mean? Look at that. So, um, so yeah, you know. I just wanted to touch base with you guys because I know there's a lot of youngsters out there that are confused in the fishing world trying to be like, well, do I, I, need, I gotta have this, I gotta have this. No, you don't. Start off small. Start off at the bottom. Gain yourself uh, some stability in life and then you can move up from there, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, you guys could check these out. Wish has them. Amazon has them. Uh, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. You know, the, these, the fishing world has blown up worldwide, and it's everywhere. So, all you got to do is look, take a glance at the Joom, Wish. There's another one called Volva. I think it's V-O-V-A. That's another one you can get a lot of these reels from. eBay, uh, Amazon, tons of stuff like that. And probably in the near future, once we get some more buildup, you know, we get some more subscribers, we're gonna do a little thing, and I probably will end up getting rid of these, or a couple of them or something, you know, just to give them away. Most likely the youngsters out there and get you guys on some bait cast here. So if there's anything I can help you with, any concerns, any interests, um, get at me guys, you know, like, subscribe, comment, any interests, uh, you can contact me anytime. I'd, uh, I'd love to teach, I'd love to talk with you. Thanks for everything you guys have shown me throughout the time of being on YouTube, you know, and I feel like maybe I can contribute something back for the world of YouTube. So, uh, until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. We'll catch you on the rebound. Later.